Hi everyone, Roxanne with Baxter Creek Ranch. I wanted to give a trailer tour today. If you were following our blog yesterday, you would have found out that we brought a new to us trailer home. It's a 2017 Trails West Living Quarter three horse slant. Right behind us is our Circle J two horse bumper pull. We've had that since it was fresh on the lot in 2007 and it's been an awesome trailer for us but it is now time in our life to upgrade to big beauty. So I was going to start on the outside give you a tour of the exterior lighting for sure because everybody's got to have good lighting on the outside it's not just about the inside. So if you notice on the top you can see little LED lights up there and I tell you what, at night, those things are bright. And if I can insert a photo of the nighttime uh, picture, I'll do that. I'm not sure if I can get it in this video. Out on the road, though, we'll be able to see the lines a lot easier because of these little LED lights on the fenders, front and back. Make it a lot easier for folks driving to see us as well because safety is our biggest concern when we'll be out on the road. We have these exterior lighting up here on the sides and the back. Again, this is all LED, so they are bright. Um, this side we have our door to our living quarters and uh, the mid full tack here. And then on the other side we'll have the mid full tack again with the escape door. Here are our rear um, backup lights and our uh, brake lights. So next, I'm going to just point out real quick, McGuire's Trailers is where we bought it from, Grants Pass, Oregon, and if you can get the phone number off them, 541-474-1098. Give them a call. They are super great people. We bought our first trailer from them, and now our second trailer. Also, got to represent, we are Beaver fans, Oregon State. And there is no quackers allowed in this trailer unless they are paying a fee. If you are a beaver fan, you travel for free. Right here is our escape door open. I wanted to point out that even though the door has this wonderful latch on it that you can lock if you don't have a horse in there and just don't need anybody getting in, you also have this handle for extra security. We got this bumper here to keep the horses in while you jump out if you need to. <laughs> here are the drop down windows, which all three stalls have the drop down windows. The bars can come out. So if you're in a position where you can't let your horse out to get water, at least you can drop down the bars and they can get their head out to get some water from you. We have um, two doors for the storage, but since the window is in front of that one, I'll just leave it closed. We have caddies on both doors for grooming stuff. Um, we have a light inside, hooks for all your bridles, a little extra storage for buckets, uh, the supplements, you know, whatever we decide to put down there. Moving on to the back, I went ahead and started with one door open, and the flies are trying to get in here. I wanted to point out the handle here on the door. Um, you know, you did, can't really open it this way. So you gotta press and pull it open. Easier with two hands. Well, it wasn't too bad, I guess. So it is fully matted in here. So stepping on in here, we're coming up to the hay bunks. As you can see, we got nice hay dividers. We got these bars here. so. If Sadie's being cranky with Jewel, she won't bite her. I love how these dividers have these pads right here. So uh, we're going to be going, you know, we're going to be traveling all over the U.S. And we want to have the horses as comfortable as possible. I love that it's a three horse slant because if we uh, decide to, we can always haul an extra horse for somebody um, to wherever we're going. And then um, if, if we don't do that and Sadie and Jewel are just having a pissy of a day, we'll just um, divide them, have the, the middle stall in between them here. 
I wanted to point out how amazing these handles are. I mean, look at how easy that is to turn. The handles stay closed so it's nice and flush. You don't have a worry of it hitting the horses at all. And then just look how easily these close. Just amazing. I just get all giddy inside. But here we have a stud divider, which again, I love. If we have a horse that just isn't getting along with someone, you know, you have that extra divider down there so they're not kicking the other horse. Again, we'll just go through here. So we have our last stall here with the escape door. This door here takes us right into our mid full tack. Again, we have, oh, I forgot to point that out, I'm sorry. We have lighting in here so you can see the horses if you need to. These windows here, they don't drop down, but they do slide. If you unlock it. <laughs> if I do it right, do it from the outside, it'll be better. But you can slide them open on all three stalls. We got these awesome vents here for the horses to so just keep giving them air as we're driving down the road. So back into our mid full tack, this feature I just, I love. Um, I love having the extra space. I don't have that many saddles. We only have three saddles, but that is fine to have the extra space um, for horse blankets or anything else we need. We got two water tanks in here a caddy on this door and I love how we have doors on both sides here so then if we need to um, you know if we're in a spot where we can only tack up on one side then then we have the extra door moving on to our living quarter from the tack room I'm just step right in here we got our bathroom here we have quite a bit of storage in here. Again, this is only a 10 foot, but it feels really good. Um, we have a small travel trailer, and so we're kind of used to, to staying in a little smaller spot. That's okay with us. Um, you know, our doggies are gonna, they're used to it as well. So they're gonna have a, a good sleeping arrangement also. Anyway, in our bathroom here, I love the texture on this wall. Uh, these beautiful flowers and just the coloring of it. I don't think it's doing it justice in the video, but I sure do love it. And the ceiling is awesome. Uh, we got some really beautiful lighting in here. Again, that's the tack room. Here's our shower. It's a really nice shower. Might be, you know, it's not the size of a house shower, but that's okay. You know, our house is tiny anyway. We lived in a 1910 house uh, and only 800 square feet. So living in something small isn't, it's not out the normal for us. Anyway, here's our sink. Again, more storage in here. Um, lots of mirrors. We have a lot of mirrors in here. Here's our little closets. A couple of them. Right in here try to remember to show you everything and if you guys can hear this just the sound that it makes of the doors closing these doors are really wonderful we took a tour of a different trailer and it just felt like paper these are super solid how they open and close the handles are really beautiful I just love all the detail that they put into this trailer uh, so we have an accordion door which is great. Uh, the other trailer that we took a tour of, they had an actual house door on it, and that just wasn't, you know, that wasn't feasible. Um, it wasn't a trailer that we were looking at buying. We just took a tour of it just to see the quality difference. So again, we have the storage up here. Um, really nice size storages. This couch folds out into a bed, and we also have the table holes here. And that sits in the other um, the other little closet. It's a little bit smaller than these next to me. But we have a range oven, a convection oven, this the fan here. And then it also tells you all of like your, your water tanks. Fresh water, black water, gray tank, your battery condition. I just, I love... 
everything in here is just amazing. We've got little little storage under the sinks. You know, not not real big, but um, that that's okay because it's under the sinks. But we have all these storages under the couch here, and I mean, if you can see in there how big it is. Then we got our fridge and freezer right here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. There we go. That is a nice, nice little fridge. It's a little bit smaller than the one in our house, but the one in our house is really, it's like half the size of a normal fridge. So we are used to a smaller fridge. We have a really nice uh, stereo system in here with kicker speakers, Clarion stereo. Here's our little storage and this is where the table sits. Got this little storage up here. Someone's making noise outside. Sounds like Kenny's outside. <laughs> and then we step up here. Like, I love this carpet. And here's our bed. Again, we have mirrors, lights, speakers. What in the world is he doing out there? <laughs> is he taking me for a ride? And just these storages here. And on both sides. So, oh, there's already a fly in here. This is really cool. This counter right here. Oh, let me see if I can do this one-handed. This is super cool, having this extra counter here. Okay, so that's the tour of the inside of the trailer here. I'm just going to close the door here. Just love how um, solid the door handles are when they click in. Again, here's another mirror. Um, I just love the coloring of the interior here is just gorgeous. We have windows everywhere. Oh, and check out, if I can do this right, I'm not sure how you'd, there we go. I love these um, curtains, it's what they're on. That is just, that's amazing. And we can see outside now. <laughs> so we'll go on out here and these steps, so these running boards run the whole length of the trailer, and they are so solid. And then this step right here, it is just super solid. I love that. And we got a nice door handle here, Trail West door handle, outdoor shower, um, all the windows you can open, a beautiful big awning. If you can see that. Oh, and there's Kenny messing with the tanks. <laughs> That's what he was doing. So here we go. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please let us know. I'm going to get all our tack into the trailer. I am so excited to organize the tack room here. So <laughs> I'm going to start doing that. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.